Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on the reading of your word. May your Holy Spirit lead us, guide us, point us in the direction of all truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Matthew 25, verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made another five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that received one went and digged in the earth, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time the Lord of those servants cometh, and reckoneth with them. And so he that received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou the joy of the Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. And his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gathered where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore have to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he that hath abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprof unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, this passage, I re believe, refers 100% to the fact that there will be rewards. Now, it does not speak of earning salvation. That's where people would make an error. Okay, we don't earn salvation. Salvation is a gift. For the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you receive Jesus Christ, you receive the free gift of salvation. But there are rewards. And if you are in Christ, he's going to call you to do something. And it's our job to study his word and find out what he's called us to do. Now, not everyone is called to preach. Not everyone is called uh, to uh, necessarily uh, teach Sunday school. Some of you out there listening, you might be called to teach a Sunday school. You might be called to work with children. You might be called to be a missionary to a far off country. Uh, maybe you're listening in another country and you're called to be a missionary to the United States. I believe we need missionaries to come here as well. Um, but uh, what we're given, uh, we're supposed to use what the Lord has given. The servant that doesn't have anything uh, I'll come back to that, but I want to read verse 21 again. It says, His Lord saith unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. See, we're called to be faithful, and we're faithful to the Lord. He doesn't say, Well done, thou good and successful servant, somebody who's had a lot of success. He just says, Be faithful with what you've had. He says, Thou hast been faithful over a few things. This is the servant that had uh, the five talents. Some people have many different gifts from God. And we should just use the gifts we're given. Uh, but then he says, I will make thee ruler over many things. He said the same thing uh, to the one with two. He says, his Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. So if we feel like, well, I don't have many gifts from the Lord. Just take the gifts you're given and use them. Now the servant uh, that only had the one talent. We can say, well, he wasn't given much. He didn't have much to work with. But here's one key verse that should stand out. In verse 29, it says, For unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. So what does he have not? He doesn't have Christ. 
And that's the number one thing. The servant that didn't do anything, it was because he hath not, he did not have Christ. If you have Christ, I don't want you to sit there and worry about, well, what do I do? What do I do to earn anything? You do not earn salvation. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. The servant that hath not, he didn't do anything for the Lord because he didn't have the Lord. Okay. If you've accepted the Lord recently, we had several kids. If you're listening who accepted the Lord, just read your Bible, study it, ask the Lord to reveal what you can do for him. Some of the things you can do, you can start shining your light by showing others that you now have a changed life. Okay. That's taking a talent that he's given you because he's given you the ability now to live differently. And because your heart has changed, you should want to live differently. Uh, you may start witnessing to other people, but you want to start studying. The Bible says we should study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Study his word. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself to do, do, do. That's what the enemy then wants to do. Just study God's word. Get closer to Jesus.